Good morning. Well, we are missing my <laughs> background. <laughs> oh man, what a way to start the morning. All right, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Gaming Source Network, your number one source for all things gaming. Um, I apologize. I'm trying to download the game that I want to play this morning. I put my stream to ultra low latency, and I think that may have been a bad idea because as I'm downloading and I'm trying to upload. I think wires are crossing on the stream. So if you're able to hear this and see this, please react in chat because there's a chance that I might just be horribly blurry this morning. Um, and I apologize. I guess I should have thought about that. But I guess I didn't think that me uploading my stream would affect, be impacted by my download to my computer. You know what I mean? Because those are normally two different MBPSs. 
Um, so my little brain thought, hey, maybe we'll be fine just launching the streaming going for it anyways. But it looks like OBS Studio is just showing me a bunch of red, um, very low bandwidth. So I guess maybe uh, for hopefully for obviously for talking, this might not be difficult. I'm going to try playing a little game. It's not very graphically intensive game, so um, hopefully that won't be too difficult. Uh, it's called Nova Lands. Uh, it's in demo right now. They just launched um, basically the first part of the game called Amelia's Mission. They had originally a demo which just included us up to a certain point in the tech tree. You could play it unlimited amount of time. There was no stopping, but there's only so much of the game. Um, now they released, kind of re-released it as its own first mission. So I re-downloaded that. We're going to try that out for a little bit while the game finishes up downloading. Once I get the ping notification from Steam saying that the game is good to go, we're going to dive on and switch on over. Ruddigs, hey, hey, man, how are we doing this morning? Good morning, Guten Morgen. All right, let's go ahead and kill my background. Dive on in with no noggin because I was capturing some content for a VOD. Okay, so this is Nova Land's Amelia's Mission. Again, this is honestly one of my most looked at, like this is my most um, anticipated game when it releases right now. It's got a very fun gathering crafting vibes. You can set up a little like robot army that goes around and, and automates things for you. It's simple, but it has just enough difficulty that you feel pushed and things take a little bit of time. Um, but it's not super difficult that it takes forever to move on. And it has a very fun tech tree. So let's go ahead and dive on in to the game. I'm going to go ahead and make sure my mouse is plugged in. So that way it doesn't die on me. I'm actually going to switch this over to my keyboard. My keyboard's looking a little dark right now. There we go. Okay. Oh, I got a little pet I can pet as well. Oh, adorable. All right. So again, in this game, we are simply harvesting resources. Okay, it's just like, imagine your Minecrafts, your, you know, all those sorts of titles. That's all this is. Alright, we're Minecrafting, but we got, we got to maintain our oxygen levels. We got to pick up poop. We got a little poop from these creatures. I'm going to collect all this copper ore. So when you're off your main base, which I am right now, you can hear the O2 going down. So I want to get back to the main base, and then we have an oxygenator here on this planet. So on this island, so we'll just drop that there. I have a little furnace smelt up going on right now. It's looking really dapper. I should build another one of those, shouldn't I? In the reality, I think I should. These are my little robots. They're working hard. Good stuff, you guys. Good stuff. All right, perfect. I do want that stone, and let's see, do we have any issues so far with charcoal, lack of charcoal? I don't think so. Let's go ahead and drop that there. We're going to go ahead and just put all of those there. So sticks turn into charcoal. <clears throat> sticks turn into charcoal. Let's redo that. Um, and so that's important there. I'm going to go ahead and drop the these over here. These bees like berries. They'll take the berries and they will make little honeysuckles. Um, and I like the honeysuckles. Now, I have an, a, a collector robot. What I want to build is I want to build a logistics robot. This robot is going to run around and basically grab things and operate my whole facility for me. So if I click on this, oops, I think it's because I have the robot in my hand. Let's try that again. It's going to put water in the oxygenator. It's going to work the recipes for me. It's going to fuel generators. Don't need that yet. And it's going to deposit resources. Deposit resources. Why? I don't need it to deposit resources. So I'm going to have it just running. It's basically going to run the furnace recipes and such. Actually, I think I do need to deposit resources. I need to deposit them back onto their own little storages. So now I just need to select a certain storage. Let's make this one a modular brick. We're going to make this one for sure twig. So in case twigs are on the ground, he might run and grab them. That's kind of the idea. Uh, let's make this the... Uh, Let's make this the uh, iron ingot. So he's going to bring back iron ingot. Because this guy right here, this collector bot, he's going to take the iron ore to there and drop it. Because that's what I told him to do. And he better listen. Um, and so he, that's just going to make sure that the logistics bot runs any extra iron ingots over that. Okay, so we actually have a lot of 
this is kind of the good resources I want right now. This is going to help me unlock advanced production, which is just going to be a furnace, which just makes it a lot more effective. Um, so we want that next. It's kind of the thing we need to get next. Um, it allows us to make steel, and steel is the recipe needed. Obviously, you can see for the next couple tech tree advances. These are looks like going to be the last three we can get. I want this really bad. This is just going to be phenomenal. Uh, if you look at our radar, though, to unlock new islands, oh, I need two more bronze, but this one needs two more of the steel. So we're going to go ahead and see what our recipe requires to build the improved furnace. Oh, not much. Wow, we can just do that like right away. Cool. Let's go ahead and do that. I don't have any robots collecting stone. The only problem is you can only have so many robots on a, uh, on a certain power pole or on a certain bot antenna. You can upgrade that later, though, to where you can have like four on an antenna as opposed to just three. So that is an upgrade you will want to look into. Improved furnace. I'm going to drop this off just in the furnace area. There is large trees in the way, which is super unfortunate. So let's just drop it right there. Yes. Output 3x. So basically allows you to really increase your input and output. So So we're ready to use that. <clears throat> can these run a steel recipe at all? They cannot. So since this is the only one that can run a steel recipe, I'm going to just run the steel recipe through this. Um, and it, Oh, it does allow you to stack. So these ones, they'll just spit the uh, device out when they're done. This one will actually allow you to stack. Yeah, see now, look, he's bringing in charcoal like a freaking trooper. I'm going to drop the six iron I have because I don't need it right now. Although it would be nice to maybe set up a bot antenna on a different planet or a different island. I might actually go do that real quick. Hey, buddy. You might have actually borrow one of those. Thank you. So we'll go build a bot antenna. We'll build a depositor. We'll do that. Geek Sneak. Hey, oh, did you get the beta test invite for first? I did. It is downloading, which might be why my stream quality might not be the best right now. Uh, it is at, let me double check, 74%. So hopefully here in the next 15 minutes or so, it will be completed. I started the download around 6.18 this morning. So that's about 21 minutes to get 75%. So about seven minutes to get 25%. So maybe even, yeah, about 6.45-ish um, in a little bit. All right, do I need any copper at all? I might save the copper. I might go build a, um, actually I don't need that. I just need, I just need collector drones. That's a good point. Let's go ahead. I think those guys are just the iron ingots. Oh, we got another extra one over here. Perfect. I'm going to go get two collector bots. Boop. Get that water going on that water oxygenator. Collector bot number one. Collector bot number two. I don't think I actually need the uh, the copper bar at all. Oh, perfect. And now I can go um, build logistics. All right. Let's see if we can grab any modular bricks while we're here. I think that might be a good idea. So I got a poop ton of them. Good stuff, good stuff. I want to play that game. It looks fire. Did they email you? Yes, I received an email this morning um, with that announcement or with that t with them telling me that I was invited and then it was just in my, uh, in my Steam library. So, yes. All right, we're going to build this right here. And then I'm going to sign. Actually, let's build a couple of the logistics depot bays. All right, first depot bay. Gonna go right there, there, and there. That way each each little bot has its own deposit area. Always I want the copper ore and I want it deposited right here. Thank you very much. Ready. Next, we want this guy. We want him grabbing. Honestly, I don't think this is an option, but if it is an option, awesome. I do want some stone being grabbed because stone's an important one. Deposit four. And you're deposit three, which means you're going to be deposit area five, buddy. And I want you grabbing probably some more twigs. Those are always a good option. Um, yeah, we'll grab twigs. So now these guys are just going to be working and they're gonna, while I'm over here. If I ever need to go grab those things, they will be over there for me. How are we doing? Are we getting close? We're getting closer. We're getting closer. Uh, let me go ahead and drop that, that guy there. What is this guy doing? Why are you collecting, though? Leave that for our collector bots, you know what I mean? I can't tell if he needs that. I don't think he needs that. Let's go ahead and feed that and feed that. And I will drop one stone in there. Yeah, I think we're gonna need more than just one stone to get those modular bricks going. 
<laughs> but yeah, no, hopefully we'll be uh, playing that here shortly. If all goes well. I don't want poop in my inventory. No matter what people think about me, that's not what I want. I should build another little uh, smaller furnace so I can get another uh, bronze bar going. Because the bronze is taking a little bit of time. You know what I can do? Hey, how's our little stone going? <laughs> and eventually, eventually I'm going to be able to build logistics arms that switch and I can then move, um, I can move items from island to island and that's a really fun place to get into. All right, that's a lot of copper. So that's awesome. Um, I need the, um, oh yeah, charcoal, there you go. That thing that I have a massive amount in my inventory. Okay, we got an extra stone there. So right now I'm just letting my robots go. We're getting really close to the steel. We just need two more. While we're doing that, I might go just build more furnaces because that's kind of the big thing to do really is just have a lot of furnaces, crafting things for you. Um, and we're gonna just keep an eye. That green bar is looking really close on steam. So we will be checking that out here shortly once we get it completed. Right, let's build another furnace. Set another charcoal recipe, I think. Keep the charcoal going. Keep this little logistic spot working his tushy off. Oh, I never actually set this as the recipe. <laughs> oh, that's a well, that's a step you gotta remember to do. Good, good, good. You can also upgrade the speed of the bots, which is real nice. It's real nice. Look at these guys just so. I gotta get rid of this poop like long distance somehow. I'm not sure where it's gotta go. But it's gotta go. Alright, poop. Can you please go bug the bumblebees? Appreciate it. Appreciate it, bud. I think normally what I end up doing is I upgrade the furnaces to the, the higher end one. In fact, that's probably what I should be doing because doesn't it just take bricks? Yeah, let's do that. Let's start grabbing, let's start building some of those. It's not like they take any uh, power or anything. I wish I could, I wish you could rotate. That would be kind of fun if you could rotate things around. All right, I want copper ingots here. I want uh, iron ingots there. And let's do a charcoal there. So I'm actually gonna <laughs> borrow some of these just so we can kind of get things going a little bit sooner. Again, they are a much, much higher caliber. All right, well, cool. You're already, you're already done, Zo. Ah, I was too far away. If you're too far away and you drop, it'll um, doesn't doesn't work quite as well. All right, we need some sticks, eh? Sticks and stones may break my bones. And do -do 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 -do. I honestly think our uh, our little um, logistics spotter is already grabbing him, because he's a freaking trooper at a boy. All right, so we're looking forward to the steel that comes out. Um, ooh, download's almost done. Yeah, look at these beefy furnaces, man. Mmm, they look good. They're looking real nice. Okay, research. Oh, already got the radar, already got the workbench. We have everything built. We're just waiting for that first iron bar. Alright, what auction level's looking a little low. There you go, logistics pot. Trying to you're trying to kill me? <laughs> huh, that's not weird. Appreciate it, buddy. Oh, he actually snagged it. I thought I would snag it in front of his face. That was not the case. At some point I'd like to steal some of the honey. Little bumblebee honey things, but not quite yet. I picked up the poop I dropped over there. That's not a good thing. Bzz. Bumblebee. Bumblebee. Alright, I'm just waiting for this iron. This iron is taking forever right now, man. Driving me insane. Absolutely. Alright, we want to build a couple more um, deposit areas. We need to make sure. That this guy can deposit all sorts of things everywhere. Like I need to have a charcoal one as well, so he can deposit charcoal. And then I need I already got modular bricks. Good. Basically you want to make a you want to make all possible results. So whatever's being, you know, produced needs to have a result out here so that he can then grab it off the ground and take it out to a deposit area. Aha, you see, we got some copper. And he's just feeding it right into that steel. Good, that's good. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead though and probably build a. Mm, no, I'll wait. Let's see. Deposits. These may take copper to build, although they'll probably take steel since that's what they require to be researched. 
Oh man, what are we looking like? We are guys, we're probably in like the 98 right now. We're probably like, whoo, whoo. what are we at? Yeah, 96% downloaded. All right, we're gonna be starting up here real, real soon. Also, I'm out of twigs. My charcoal, oh, I guess they're doing charcoal down here, so that's all that really matters. Okay, I can't quite, oh, I did disable, perfect. Dismantling. Just to just kind of reduce our blueprint down a little bit. Right? We already have a charcoal setup, so I'm pretty um pretty confident in that. Alright, we got our first steel, and before our little guy can take it anywhere. Oh, speaking of which, I actually need to build a steel segment. Forgot about that. Let's go into logistics. Mark a steel area so he can drop it off if it ever shows up. Alright, let's go do some research. Alright, we want deposits. Again, this is going to allow me to move things from island to island, which is really an, a really good thing. Advanced production extractor tower. Oh, so this was not a part of the, uh, the demo. So I'm excited to try that out. Alright, so we got transporter arm. Transports between islands. So, you hit the um, rotate button. I want it literally just transporting right in front because, you know, this is where my, my production is, right? So we're going to have three of them because now what we do is instead of having our little guys here, they're going to deposit directly into the transporter arm. Simple as that. You take one, you take one. Although, hmm. So this is good to do, but the only problem is, is obviously when... When the transporter arm is full, then they stop working. Whereas, obviously, over here, they can they can get quite a lot. Um, either way, we'll just leave it as is. And then, and then the resources are over here, so now my logistics bot can just grab from these. And now we don't have to go over. So that is a little bit of, quote-unquote, automations we've performed. Um, which is super duper. So let's go ahead and let's drop this all off into that. We're going to take this, we're going to move him into that. I have two steel, which is awesome. Um, I don't think, however, there's anything to build with it, but that means I think I'm just two away from the advanced production or one away from the energy rifle. Or we can scan. Whoa, that looks like a boss island. Let's go check it out real quick. Hey, buddy. You look terrifying. Yeah, not a whole lot going on here. Okay. Maybe if I have to go to the other island first. That's probably exactly what it is. Let's go ahead and unlock that island then. And our... Okay, we're, we're completed. Let me just unlock this last island and our download is ready. We're ready to vibe. All right, more resources. Cool. All right, this has been Nova Land's Amelia Mission. It is free on Steam. Um, again, it's not quite the complete game yet. Uh, but this is just like a little demo, so you can kind of check it out. See what, see what you think, see what you like. Now, let's dive into the real meat and potatoes of today, which is the First Descendant Steam Beta. Let me see if I can switch over to it yet. Nope. How about now? Nope. Okay. Now? Nope. Okay. Switch off. Switch on. There we go. Nope. Wrong thing. There we go. First Descendant. Here it is, folks. Oh, and we're, our stream is now green. That's a good sign. Well, I mean... It should be showing up here soon. I'm not sure why it's not being captured. Let's do this then. Let's go ahead. And, okay, there it goes. Perfect. Just took a little bit of time. <laughs> just had to warm up a little bit, you know what I mean? Because it probably because it just got installed. So like, like, you know. All right, Steam beta test will be starting soon. Oh, never mind. Beta test not active. Well, that's awkward. Okay. I guess I got a little excited. Because I got invited to the beta. Well, I guess I should have done a little bit of research first, eh? Unless that was Eastern time. I don't think that was Eastern time. Not that that would really matter. I don't think it's going to connect based on what I just read. Also, wow, the screen is pretty, pretty bright and white. Oh, yeah, very high, bud. Come on. I don't know what all of this does, so we're just going to leave it as is. Ba -da -dun -dun -dun. Ba -da -dun -dun. 
Well, I apologize, you guys. I think that this is not going to connect for us because I don't think the beta is actually open. Super fun. I'm glad that they freaking just sent me sent me the key. <laughs> Did it say in the email? Oh, hey, there you are. That's That would have been good to read. The only problem is that I don't read that well because that's not exactly the correct. Um, that's not the time format I'm used to. Um, but yeah, 10, 20, 0 o'clock UTC. Oh, that is Pacific Standard Time. That's my timeline, but the uh, the date the date time is not. So this is one of the most anticipated games way back when it was Project Magnum. Well, it's um, it's still going to be anticipated there, Champ, because it's currently not out yet. Uh, the beta test is tomorrow. So let me go ahead and just quickly log in and clarify on Twitter that that's going to be the case. Um, burn out down to you, but it do 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 do. Um, let me go ahead and just think right now. What do we want to do? What do we want? How do we want to word this, you guys? How do you guys like to word your tweets? I always tend to struggle a little bit wording my tweets. Um, um, misleading tweet here. Uh, beta test doesn't open until tomorrow morning slash this afternoon. Actually, no, yeah, tomorrow morning. Instead, we be playing a crafting game. All right, I guess we're going back to the, um, going back to Nova Lands. I like to call it Nova Scotia just because it just sounds... It just sounds better. Um, I love writing, but I'm not the biggest fan of reading. You know, champ? For some reason, that doesn't surprise me, my friend. <laughs> oh, man. Just kidding. All right. Well, unless you guys want to try out. So there's a new, a new card game that deals with the Marvel series called Marvel Snap, which dropped onto Steam, and I installed it. So we don't have to worry about waiting for installs. But I haven't tried it out yet. Um... Because I was playing Nova Lands Amelia's event mission. So we got Marvel Snap, a Marvel card game, or Nova Lands Amelia's mission. What what are we feeling? I can I can flip either way. Whoever chats first what they want will get what they want. The first ascendant almost reminds me a little bit of like Outriders a little bit. Some vibes. Because of the whole idea of shooting and the whole idea of superpowers. Just throwing it out there. Um, gosh, that guy is spooky looking. Marvel Snap, perfect. Snap it up. I think it has mixed reviews on Steam. Uh, I'm not sure why. But um, maybe because it's in portrait mode. Oh, that looks good. All right, let's go ahead and switch back over. Let's go ahead and remove my background. And then let's go ahead and flip on to the game. Snap. Yeah, okay, so it's in portrait mode, so people don't people don't like that. They don't like this. Of course, I've read them all. I'm going to turn down the volume a little bit on it. I will also turn it down here. So that way my my voice stands out. Play game. Uh, it's going to ask me to sign in. Probably to transfer it. I think this is on, uh, this might also be on, like, mobile. Welcome to Marvel Snap. Match one. Searching for opponent. Doctor Doom. Well, this is a setup. Okay, buddy. Spider Man, you're in. Yeah, because I'm still a teenager. And I'm going to save New York. End my turn. Electra. Each card adds power. Highest power wins. Yeah, yeah, Nick Fury, let's do that. Oh, we got some, we got some of them. We got some X-Men on our team. Heck yeah. All you got is Wasp. Come on, man. Win two out of three locations. Okay. I think we're winning New York right now. Okay, Star-Lord. He has a special ability. What's that? On reveal, if your opponent played a card here this turn, plus three power. 
So you're saying that I if I drop him here, if the enemy plays a card, I get plus three power. Too easy. Wow, why is that volume? All right, Dr. D. Cool yourself. So you're trying to win to the area. So I could just really just play that one. Tap a location, see what it does. Draw a card. Heck yeah, man. All right. So most cards have special abilities. On reveal, if you play a card here next turn, plus two power. If this is at the middle location, plus, so I want to drop you at the middle location, extra power. Boom. All I need to do is win two areas. So really you can just focus on two areas. That seems easy enough. Thing. He's going to be like, Mr. Stark, Tony Stark, come on in. Yeah. There it is. Iron Man has a powerful ability. Your total power is doubled at this location. Well, give plus two power to cards in players' hands. Oh, nice. So I just have to drop him here, and then we basically are locked in. Because it doubles the power of the location, so. Oh, gosh. Oh, man. Abomination. He had a good amount of power over there. Oh, gosh. Hulk. Freaking 12 power. Let me just smash this one. Yeah, so they're going to take that one, which is fine. I win two. All right, seems easy enough, right? We kind of got the basics. We got the basics. Play games to visually upgrade your cards. So that's it. Medusa. Visually upgrade. I don't think I saw what happened. Did it just go from white to... To green? Oh, now it's going 3D. Oh, okay. <laughs> Is that like some some big thing? Okay. All right. Upgrading cards unlocks new cards. See, now that's what I'm talking about. We want new cards. The Punisher. Oh, my gosh. I haven't seen him. I remember watching the, the movie uh, Netflix a long time ago. It's a good movie. I remember, I mean, it's, it's super sad, but like... Yeah, super good. Oh, we're just going on. Agatha Harkness. Who did dig up this time? You start with, see, now we got energy. Perfect. That costs three energy to play. We can't play it yet. However, we can play Misty Knight. Uh, we've got to save the city or Quicksilver. Starts in your opening hand. Well, that's good. Thanks, buddy. I'm going to go ahead and drop you there. Okay. Plus one energy per turn. Yep, that makes sense. What do we got there? On turn six, cards can't be played. Okay, so we need to stock that place up. Middle location, they obviously give us Medusa for a reason. Super, super simple. So we need to lock this down before turn six. Um. Okay, the hub. Add a random, add a random card to each player's hand. Oh, nice. neat. Ongoing, plus one power for each opposing card to this location. Oh, that's good. Adjacent locations have two power. So throwing him into the middle, that's going to be really good right there. Because now he's going to give two power to adjacent locations. Oh, the old Sentinels, man. All right, Iron Man. Shut it. They have a bunch of opposing cards here. So if I put him there, that's going to be good. And I do want to maintain this. So for each opposing player, he gains power. Look at that. We just took... Well, we had the lead for a second. We kind of lost it, but... All right, we're going to drop one final... One final big guy here, because again, this is shutting down. So they're technically winning this, but the cool thing is, is they can't play any more cards here. I play Iron Man here. I double this amount. We're good. Oh, Cyclops. You're too funny, buddy. 
They can't play any more cards there, I believe. Oh, I don't want to. I just want to double. Oh, I guess, I guess technically the Hulk does more than double. So they'll win that one over there. doesn't matter because I locked in the vault. And now we're going to take over the hub. Deuces. Okay, so I mean, I can kind of understand it. I'm curious. I think there's probably a PvP element in this game. Um, I just, I don't feel like there's a... Like, yes, there's a little bit of skill in the game from the standpoint of seeing the points, the power your other the opponent has versus what you have. Um, but I just, I don't think it's going to be like that. I don't know. It's more just about the luck of the draw, which a lot of card games are. Um, so, yeah. It's also an early access, apparently. On reveal, add another Sentinel to your hand. Nice. You do love cards that keep on giving. Sentinels waiting in your collection. Edit your deck here. This is what I'm really bad at. I'm so bad at editing decks. Um, replace Shocker. I'm going to blast you. Cool. Your deck is incredible. Go dominate. A new challenger awaits. All right. What should your name be, guys? Come on. Come on, guys. We know what the name always is. Confirm. The game in CPA versus Akshend. The nice thing about Quicksilver is he's always very... Cards here with no abilities. So technically he doesn't have a quote-unquote ability. I mean, he does start in my hand, but... He doesn't have an ability. Oh, that is an ability? It didn't say, like, reveal. After turn 5, put a card from each player's hand here. After turn 5... Put it. Don't understand what that means. On reveal, if you play a card here next turn, plus two power. All right, so where do I want to play a card next turn? I'm going to play one. So far, every card has powers. Well, Cyclops actually doesn't. It just says, let's move, X-Men. Let's do this. Hey, get back here. Go there. We're going to go ahead and stock this up. We're going to battle for just one location and then see who can throw out the biggest. What is up? I have Hawkeye as well, buddy. After turn three, shuffle your hand into your deck, draw three cards. What does... Okay, so he should technically add two. We'll move over to the next one next. I just want to make sure we got the power from this guy. Yeah, we literally have identical, identical hands. Except for, I didn't have Misty Knight, so, super fun. Good talk, buddy. It's clobbering time. Alright, we're going to throw Medusa there, because she does better in the middle. It sadly means we're wasting so much extra power. Okay. Hey, man, why don't you just follow and do exactly what I do? Alright, except for you're going to win, because for some dumb reason, you're going to win. Um, unless I rock Iron Man here and double... I'm going to save Atalan for the very end. I'm going to drop the Hulk there and hope that Max Oxen doesn't do the exact same thing. Rouser, this looks pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty basic, pretty simple. Hold up, you played two cards? Oh, we literally tied because I'm going to double mine. <laughs> well, that sucks. Come on, tell me I win on that one. Come on. Yes! All right, buddy, what you gonna do? Okay, shoot. I, I mean, I gotta go full Hulk mode. I just gotta. Uh, I remember I played this Transformers mobile card game every day for over a year. Well, that's insane, champ. All right, so we each won one and we tied. What does that mean, is it a draw? Maybe we both got a victory screen? I don't know. To me, he would almost be the victor because he has a higher spread. You know, if there's a tiebreaker, should go to the person with the higher spread, in my opinion. But maybe we both just get victory because we tie. And the Punisher gets upgraded. Oh, it's not for free. It costs items. Well, ain't that weird. Ah, I guess I have a lot of that blue stuff, so I'm not too worried. Spring break. It doesn't really upgrade your um 
the actual card itself. It just literally only unlocks an upgrade of the looks, I believe. And then new cards are upgrade unlocked. Jessica Jones on reveal. If you don't play a card here next turn, plus four power. Oh, wow, that'd be nice. We can definitely do that. Um, we may do that at a different time. And then I'll be like, why did I, why do I have this thing synced up to my account? All right. Oh, look, they got a season pass. Look, battle pass. What a popular thing, man. Seriously. Battle pass came, came and took over. We're just doing a quick store check. So you can just upgrade basically for free. Fast upgrade. Buy the remaining boosters and immediately upgrade your cards. I'm okay. Thank you, though. Um, but that's cool to know. Wait a sec. What is... They have, like, different backgrounds or different screens for things? Nope. Ah. Uh, ah. <laughs> I'm... I'm... Okay. Doctor Strange. All right, let's go ahead. I think I need to edit my deck. Because I added a new card. Didn't I? Um, who do I want to change out? Okay, Jessica Jones. She's already in it. I Oh, no, she's not. She's not in it. Who is that I do not necessarily care for? Well, Misty Knight, you're awesome. Um, but I think I want to add people with special abilities in. And I don't know if I can... Do you save the deck? Nope. Okay, perfect. All right, let's go ahead and let's play again. I guess I could change my avatar since I just unlocked the uh, the eight generic avatars. <laughs> Old Quicksilver. Doo -doo -doo. What do we got? Cards that cause one can't be played here. <laughs> Ain't that a little D-bag move right there, buddy? All right, we're going to send Quicksilver over there. We don't know what's going on. Oh, did he? Oh, he did not play. He must have higher level people than I do. All right, I want to I want to do this because Sentinels they're really good with power, super good with power. Oh, I should have played I should play there because yeah, on turn six that's gonna lock. Okay, we got this. We're good. We're good. We're vibing. We're gonna play both right there. Oh yeah, buddy. Oh, you do what you got to do, man. You do what you got to do. Uh, if you play a card here next turn. Okay, so I need to play a card there to gain an additional two. I might do... Oh, let's go ahead and do Cyclops. He just has more power. Like, that's just... It's a no-brainer. So now we're going to fight for the middle, but I also own the two side ones. Sort of. But basically, I want to lock in this middle before turn six because, again, at, exactly, at turn six, it loses out. I think we just need to go big, right? We just need to make sure we lock it in. Uh, this should be good enough unless he just drops a literal bomb, um, which he might. We're going to tie up on that one. No? Okay, I take the middle. Gorgeous. And right now I'm still owning this side. So we're going to lock in the middle. And then I'm just going to drop my Hulk on this side and take the side. Hulk smashing time, baby. I feel like this game would be very easy to like chat with chat on this. You can just like card games. Obviously, they don't require a whole lot of attentiveness like um, shooters do. Um... Let's go Cyclops. See, you were telling me I needed to pay to upgrade him. That was an option I could have buy. We just got to wait, guys. We got to be patient. You know what I mean? I love how they think that like changing the outside frame color is like a big deal. Kazar! Ongoing, your one cost cards have plus one power. Oh, that's nice. Mister, fantastic. I will say, the music's kind of a banger. I do enjoy it. The uh, at, at the end where it's like... Dun, 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 bum, 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 bum. 
All right, let's upgrade. We need. Oh, okay. So recruit season chapter one. Oh, is that the battle pass right there? That is nice. We unlocked Ant Man. If you have three other cards here, plus three power. Okay, so you want to play him as the fourth person. Got it. Let me freaking change my avatar, right? Who do I want to be? I am. Well, none of them look very much like me. But let's be honest, I'm I'm a Cyclops. Is this on PC slash Steam or Epic? This is on a uh, Steam. Yeah, PC Steam. I think it's also a mobile game, to be honest, Rouser. So it might be one where you uh, you sync up your Google account, and you might be able to like play it on mobile, and then when you're on your PC, you can play it on Steam. I think because it does prompt you for a uh, Google sign-in. Yo, what? We've been at that low FPS. Come on, man. Let's get that volume down. It is <laughs> woo. Download all assets. All right, I don't know what I just did. Hopefully good stuff though. All right, let's change up the deck. Change it up. Da -da -da. Deck. All right, we want to, so I like having Quicksilver. It's always good to start off with a one energy card, no matter what, it's always good because that guy, he did it, and I basically was able to take a side because of it. Now, if we have any more that don't have any abilities, which I think the only other person is Cyclops, this Balthazar guy, He's going to give one power to all my one cost cards. I only have two of them though. So that means that they're not going to really gain a whole lot from it. I think it might be good to just maintain and keep a, uh, a three power. Because you do want to have a good spread of uh, value and cost. Uh, but Ant-Man. Mm. Yeah, I might switch out Ant-Man with possibly Hawkeye. Because he's going to gain three power. He only gains two. Although I'm really debating if I want to get rid of Cyclops and put in Ant-Man. No, we want to let's 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 just keep our numbers how they are. Let's just keep things how they are. All right, guys, let's just keep them how we are. What's our other missions right now? Okay, upgrade a card one more time. Unlock a new card two more times. That'll help my battle pass. Uh, with a weekly mission or weekly challenge, up there. Win a location with four cards. Oh, so I got to get four on it. Okay, with only one card, dude. I basically did that. Play two cost cards. Play two cost cards. Cards that cost only two? Or do I play two cards that cost something? <laughs> I don't know. Driving me insane. Quicksilver, thank you for showing up as always, buddy. Bump, ba ba bum, bum, bum. Bum, ba da bum, bum, bum. On reveal, effects happen twice at this location. Well, then I'm going to leave you for... The Sentinel Buddies. So that way we're given multiple Sentinels. G E 36. Oh, Misty Knight. You know how I feel. Cards that cost one, two, or three can't be played here. Ooh, la, la, la. That ain't good. We're going to add another Sentinel to my hand. All right, so I need to stock one of these up with four cards. I'm not sure which one we're going to do. We may do this one and just stock it with Sentinels. Um, so now we're going to get two Sentinels added to my hand. Beep boop. Beep boop. So cool. Star-Lord. Oh, that ain't good. Oh, never mind. We ain't taking that one. We are not taking that one. What does this guy give me? After turn three, shuffle your... Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Cyclops, you have no abilities. Medusa, your abilities are lackadaisical at best. Oh, that sucks. Okay, well, we're just going to go and we're just going to take over. We're going to try to own this one. We'll own this one. They can own that one. That's fine. Oh, wow. He is definitely locking down that one. Dude, go, go for it, man. Straight up, go for it. It's all you. I'm going to take over the middle. If you don't play a card here next turn, plus four power. Okay, we're going to own this middle. And then I'm going to take over. Next one, we're going to take over the Atalon. Oh, probably with an Iron Man, possibly. Oh, Jessica Jones, brother. I'm just really debating because I do want to do the Ant-Man. I want to get one with four cards. Let's just do this. This is risky, but I, I have an idea in my head. It just... Okay. All right, I don't know what the highest card is. I think the highest card is, is a full 12. 
Yeah, buddy. All right, so we're winning there. So this is what we're going to do. That's super duper risky. No, I kind of have to Hulk smash over here. Now, if they have a Hulk and they drop it here, then I lose. Hold up. Let's think about this. Um, let's do this. Well, no, again, if they just Hulk smash in the middle, then I'm done. Oh, this is unfortunate. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Okay, well, we're just going to have to... I guess I'm just going to Hulk smash here. And hope they don't Hulk smash in the middle. Good. Okay. Oh, oh. Oh, that was so close. But it wasn't because we strategized, guys. Big brain. Big brain. And look, we should have completed the challenge because we won one with only one card and we won one with four cards. Jessica Jones, I just got you. Welcome. Welcome to the uh, to the common club or uncommon club. Sorry. All right, You were common, Jessica. You're no longer common. Also, we're only at level three, so we haven't quite unlocked the next thing yet. But that should have completed. Yeah, that was a mission... Mission critical right there. Boom. All right, we need to unlock two more cards. And we need to play two more cost cards. Boom. Give me those 200 creds, man. Not quite level four yet. We'll get there, though. Don't worry. I don't have anything else in the deck. Let's just continue on. What if this just became the game I streamed every single week? People just showing up, I'm just like, it's not Marvel. Cards that cost four, five, or six can't be played here. Well, good thing we're going to be playing our Quicksilver. Oh, is he going to Hawkeye then Medusa? That would be smart if he has Medusa. The cards with the highest power here get plus three plow power. Oh, snap. That is pretty cool. Um, I guarantee you he's going to play a card here this turn. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. Because he has to if he wants to utilize that ability. Boom. Thank you. You just gave me some extra power, buddy. Oh, I haven't seen Nightcrawler. What does he do? You can move this once. Oh, that's cool. Oh, snap. Someone's got higher power. Cards here can't... I'm sorry. Cards here can't be destroyed. You can destroy cards in this game? Huh. There is some stuff I have not seen, folks. All right. You're going in the middle. You're going over there. We're going to end turn... Wakanda forever. Let's go. Oh, I'm trying to think here. I'm probably going to save and just... Oh, there you go. Smart move. Moving Nightcrawler over. I am the Ant-Man. I'm just kidding. Oh, Sentinel. Buddy, 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 buddy. Actually, we're going to go ahead and... Um, we're going to hang out in old Wakanda first. Beautiful. Sentinel there. Wakanda forever here. All right. That's going to spawn another Sentinel. So what's your thoughts on this game so far? Honestly, it's kind of entertaining. Um, the only problem with card games that I have is give me like, I don't know, playing about a hundred, like maybe, maybe 20 matches. And then I actually hit people that big brain the game, build decks, and actually know what they're doing, then all of a sudden I go, woo, and my interest goes down because I just get destroyed. Um, but early on, yeah, I totally enjoy games like this. All right. Fingers crossed. Wait, did Iron Man not do anything for him? Or does he do something for him? Is Iron Man about to just pop off on me? Well, he only... Okay, well, Iron Man might, but... That's all right. Okay, yeah. So you throw Hulk in there. Hulk gains it all. Iron Man doubles. He took the middle. I took the side too. In the end, you still get the W. I do like that you level up every one. I got a feeling once you hit level 10, it's probably going to take two of those wins to level up. Da -da -dun -dun -dun. It's clobbering time. Mr. Fantastic. I did like that when I used this card last time. That was actually pretty fun. All right, what is this five? All right, play 10 games to see and unlock ranked rewards. What is my ranked reward? Oh, it's a new card back. 
Uh, oh, I guess it is a little bit different, huh? Oh, I have all sorts of card backs. I guess now we get to do the, the cool, the snap cube. Bum. Bada bum bum bum. All right, let's go ahead and check that. So I just got Mr. Fantastic. He is a level three. I'm going to switch him out with Cyclops. Just because Cyclops, no offense, man. You're cool and all. But I think we're good. All right, I got all the missions done. Woo! Okay, now we can do the uh, the season chapter one. But yeah, no, I mean, right now the game's fun because I'm I'm able to dominate. Um, not necessarily dominate, we're just able to win. But as soon as I start getting to the point where, like, I just start getting crushed every time, either because, A, people have better cards than I have, they have characters I don't have unlocked. Hey, why did you put that one? Why, instead of putting, like, my freaking Hulk there? That would have been really nice of you. All right, you got really lucky there, buddy. Gosh, that's annoying. <laughs> that's so dumb. On turn six, you can move cards to this location. What? I still can't play because I don't have any level ones and twos. This sucks. That's not good. I'm falling pretty far behind. Cards here have negative three power. Oh, on turn six, you can move cards to that location. Okay. Sorry, Wolf's Bane, plus two power for each other card you have here. Interesting. I'm giving up the left. The left is a goner, the left is dead to me. Okay. I'm going to go out to fight for this one. I'm going to see if I can own the middle. Actually, let's just own the middle. No, no, no. Let's, um... Yeah, I'm going to own the middle the next turn. So I'm going to drop this card here. They're probably going to play in the middle. If they're smart, there you go. When you play a card here, plus two power. Oh, nice. Oh, good. They played a Sentinel. Sentinels are super fun cards. All right, Jessica, I'm not going to play there. Just a heads up. Um, I'm just going to do freaking Abomination. Just to be honest, I'm just going to abominate that. They abominate that. So they locked in that side, which go for it. I've kind of almost locked in the middle. Almost. Uh, this is what we're going to do to for sure lock things in. All right, I'm hoping that's going to do it for me. I had to segregate out. I couldn't use Iron Man or Hulk. Ah, oh, frick. Hmm. Oh, Medusa may not be enough. Come on. Yep, she gains power every time something gets played. Oh, I should be fine. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, buddy. Woo! Easy. Easy money. I don't know why we're panicking. I don't know why we're even thinking about it. Mr. Fantastic, he gets to become uncommon. Fabulous. There's nothing to unlock. Ah, that's the one bummer about some card games. Is you don't always get rewarded every single time, you know what I mean? Alright, we are going to... Uh, oh, right, my bad. There it is. I'm going to be ordering some Nikes while we play. We're going to be ordering some Nikes. Or see if we can find some. Cards here have plus one power. Well, I mean, I would say might as well throw him there because he's kind of weak. So, yeah, we both have Quicksilver. Let's go, Cole. You and me, buddy. Wakanda forever. All right. Ongoing effects here are doubled. Ongoing effects. Ongoing effect. Who has ongoing effects? Oh, we throw Iron Man there. Game over, buddy. All right, where do we think he's going to play? We think he's going to play there. Let's go. Watch him have also Star-Lord. Just watch. Just watch him also play Star-Lord. I don't know. Okay. We'll take it. Right now, we're winning Xandor. I'm going to win the middle no matter what because I'm going to drop Iron Man there, and it's going to be game over. Um, Never mind. We don't have game over yet because we... Ah, that's not good. Oh, and now you're just winning by one. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Just a discarded copy of Anthem Game. Davi Silva 
De Souza Paula. Uh, are you talking about when we actually play the real game? Sorry, is this a reveal? Okay, we're gonna double that. Um, sorry, are you talking about the uh, the game we were supposed to be playing today? That we're not yet. Iron Heart on reveal. Give three of the friendly cards plus two power. Oh, that's super nice. That is insane. See, this is what I'm talking about. I'm already facing someone who is way stronger than I am. But you know what, guys? I'm not gonna give up. You know, I'm not. Oh, good. You locked in your Iron Man over there. Why? So. I'm just really debating. So the highest card can possibly be played that I've seen is the Hulk, right? That's all I've seen. So I'm thinking if I just drop a simple Medusa here and then I drop something over here, we should be locked in. Heck, I might even just do this guy here and this guy there and that should just lock us in. Except for I did not just lock in the middle. What was I thinking? Okay, well, luckily they didn't play anywhere else. Boom. All right. All right, we took two. Woo -hoo -hoo. But yeah, Dabi, is that what you're talking about with the first Descendant? Also, it's not out yet, so I got, a, I got a beta key, but apparently that doesn't go live until tomorrow morning, so that was fun. I just saw the beta key, and I thought it was in beta. <laughs> bum. Ba -da bum. Spectrum. On reveal, give your ongoing cards plus two power. And I hear I thought I was going to give me some internet. <laughs> Good jokes. I already completed all the daily missions, so I'm not going to be able to complete that. Oh, that's lame. That is lame. Lame. All right. Let's go ahead and see Season Pass. We got an Ant-Man. That's all right. I mean, let's be honest. That's all right. Let's check out what the new person brought us. Uh, Spectrum. Oh, yeah. Give your ongoing cards plus two power. Now, we only have Iron Man with ongoing. Technically, Kazar, Zanzibar. Um, I Oh. Oh, the Punisher is also ongoing. Okay. So is Mr. Fantastic. I actually have quite a few ongoing individuals. Hmm. That actually might be good as like a late game support person that comes in and then powers up multiple different groups. Um, I still want to leave the Hulk in there though. Um, and that's the only other level six. So, but we, we can talk. I'm sure there's a strategy to using her and I will discover it at some point. Or I'll probably watch other people discover it and I will just never discover it. Add a ninja to each side with negative two power. So that means that there's a limited number of cards here because I can only play three. So I want to make sure that I play three higher tier cards. Squirrel Girl. What? That is not an actual Marvel character, is it? What? That is awesome. Just gave birth to multiple squirrels. After turn five, move all cards here to other random locations. Well, that tells me to not do anything. All right. But I got a feeling she's going to drop a card here. That's what I got a feeling of. Do it. Do it. I'm panicking now that they may not be dropping a card here. Okay. Woo. Thank goodness. Why would you, why would you do that? <laughs> got him. Good. If you only have one card here, it has plus five power. That is very, very tempting by the way. Um, but that's actually not, that's not going to, what? <laughs> shoot, if I put another card there, I'm going to have less power than that freaking squirrel. Now in the end, the cards are going to get split from that strange academy. So there's going to be more cards. So I'm just playing long-term game right now. So they're just dumping cards in the middle, but those cards are going to get split out. So I'm going to drop this here because I will not play another card here in the middle, knowing that Jessica Jones is going to get thrown off to a side. 
There you go. See, now you you did what you did. Okay, I want Jessica Jones thrown to this side, if possible. Throw Jessica Jones over to here, please. Or actually to the left. Well, it depends on where they end up throwing the thing. <laughs> or where they end up throwing their next. Location full. See, now, she, now look at that. They are locked in at 12 and 22. They're locked in. They're locked in over here. So all I have to do over here is just throw in a little guy. Watch. I can throw him into there. And that's going to punch. And I win that side. Unless they have a weird card that gives them additional stuff. See, that's why I didn't want to do it. Because now they've locked him with maybe lower cards than what they wanted on their side. So that's why I built up my side. So that way I was in control of what would hit him. Oh, what is that? Draw a copy of the highest. Okay. Whew. Yeah, we're not going to win the middle. That's totally fine. But we won the sides. Game over. W. Good old George W. Bush. The dubs. Look at that abomination. Upgrade him. Upgrade complete. Upgrade complete. Foolish rabble. So someone, wow, these guys had a kind of leveled up pretty high if they were getting Nightcrawler and Wolfbane's already. Wolfsbane. Okay, shop. Can you stop? I do not like having red dots. That stuff drives me a little insane. Wait, buy for free? Oh, well, heck yeah, then. That, make, that makes sense. <laughs> that's free. Ah, that's what the shop is trying to tell me. Thanks, shop. Appreciate you. Manuel, let's go, buddy. What do we got? After turn four, whoever's winning here draws two cards. Well, I'm a wanna be a winning there then, buddy. But watch one of these other be like, on, on turn number four, shuffle your whole deck. Sweet. Smart move. Using Hawkeye there. Yeah, I get that. Uh, cards here have negative two power. So that's never fun. I only have one point cards right now, which is, I mean, we're tied right now. Good old Asgard. The problem is I don't want to get locked in on just one section, right? You need to learn how to spread. You gotta spread your powers out. But right now I do need to take this over if I can. I don't know if I can. Shoot. That's a big mistake on my end. Sadly. Yep, I don't think I'm going to be winning that one. Dang it, I'm not going to get those extra points. Those extra two cards. All right. That sucked. Uh, I'm just going to drop and own this. I'm going to see if they play fourth card. I hope that they play fourth card. Oh, perfect. Now I know exactly how many points they have there. So they basically just gave this one to me if I want it. Right? Because I know all I need is another five-pointer. Of course, I don't have a five pointer, so. Um, shoot, I can't take it. Because I. Oh, man. Listen, I can lock in the left one for sure without a doubt. Or. Or. I do my best to lock in these other two. Frick me. Um. This is difficult. I'm going to... I mean, do I think I already have these in the bag? Bilbo Baggins says yes. Okay, Bilbo Baggins says we have them in the bag. Perfect. She left the middle to me. I take the left. Deuces. That's fine. If they were smart, they would have Mighty Knighted there, then they would have hulked to the left. 
they would have hulked in the middle and mighty knighted right here because this would have taken this from me and then the hulk would have taken necrotia but some people just you know i don't know they just, they're just not thinking you know they're not thinking like that frame break wait i already have oh yeah yeah nightcrawler now this guy he might be really good to have kind of honestly like late game status you know because you can move them so it might be like they lock in a they lock in a section they have all four of their cards and i move nightcrawl over and i just steal it from them so let's go ahead and let's consider i'm not really utilizing ant-man to his full potential um However, with that being said, I might want to, uh, no, we'll, we'll just replace Ant-Man real quick. We'll do another shot. All right, let's go ahead. Let's look at those. I got to look at some Nikes. We got to find some Nikes, some sweet, sweet Nikes. All right, what are we looking for? We are looking for Air Zoom Elite Track Field Jumping Spikes. Yikes. Air Zoom Elite Track. Sorry, Air Zoom Elite. So why don't we just type in that and see what comes up? LJ Elite Track and Field Jumping Spikes. Uh, I need woman for my sister. I, are these them? If I click this link, is it gonna? And they look kind of cool. Yeah, that's exactly it. All right, now I just gotta look for a certain size. You guys want to see what I'm seeing? Let's let's show you guys what I'm showing. You guys want to see what I'm saying? Let's, I'll show you guys. <clears throat> so my sister works for Nike. So I get a, I'm going to get the family discount. Gosh, that screen is bright. I mean, I'm not this pale, you guys. Okay. I'm not this pale. Okay. We want you guys on my primary monitor. Take a quick peek. See, we're looking at some Nike air zooms, LJ elite. We need woman seven and a half. Oh, just a few left order soon. Only one color. Color is interesting. I will admit. Um, all right, perfect. Let's go ahead. Um, let me just contact. Yeah, this is what we're looking at right now. Cheapers that. Woo! Spicy, spicy. My sister is pole vaulting in college right now, so she's probably just getting herself some, wanting some newer cleats for the old pole vault. That my problem with Nike is they've gotten to a point where just it's just a name brand like this. This is probably a shoe that is probably pretty low quality, but they can still charge you 150 bucks for it. But I get it 40% off extra. So that's why she reached out to me first. Rocket Raccoon. Oh, I, I started the game. Crap. Oh, I didn't play anything. Oh, wow. I'm way behind. I didn't realize that it just moved on. On reveal, add another hand. Give it a bang. Give a card each player plus one cost. Okay. We want to play that there. I might just wait and just take this at the end. You know what I mean? Like, I think I can do that. Come on, play a card over here that is that gives you up to less than 12. Just do it. We're going to double that. I mean, imagine if I came back and win, although I missed the first two rounds. I'd be pretty impressed. There you go. Tell me it's less than 12. Tell me it's less than 12 so I can lock in with the Hulk. It is not less than 12, but you know what? That's all right. I'm just going to drop the Hulk here in the middle and hopefully that'll win it for me. Is that the most mathematically sound advice we can do? Basically, yes. Oh, I can't do that. Oh, okay. Then let's do this. One, two, three. They're guaranteed. Oh, they retreated. I missed the first two rounds and the opponent retreats. We can retreat, by the way? Didn't even know that was a option. They do uh, $90. Mm -hmm -hmm. Congrats on Iron Rank. Enjoy a free bonus rank. Start an iron, you can lose ranks. Well, see now this is where we start to we start to play some people that are a little sweaty. And being sweaty in a card game is not a good look. So I personally don't like to be sweaty in card games, but you know, 
Like, look at this guy. He's already he's already making me scared. Look at his avatar. Whoever loses will lose a cube. Well, good. After each turn, give cards here plus one power. So I want to just start putting cards there right away. Man, how do they have Squirrel Girl? I guarantee you they are going to place another card there. Guaranteed. Oh, never mind. They didn't. Dude, we both Star-Lorded on the wrong section. Why is it smart to load this up? Because each turn is going to generate more and more and more. On turn five, all cards must be played there. Well, then I'm not going to play a single card there. Why are you wasting your time? You must play on turn five all your cards. Wait, what is Groot? See what I'm saying, guys? We're playing sweat right now. We are playing with sweat. Man, difficult. Uh, I will go ahead and play one card here. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. I don't want to do that. No, 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 no. Get back here. Come on, Jessica. You're going to go there because guess what I have to do? I have to play Abomination on the card next to it next turn. But you locked it. Now, the question is... No, I got this. I'm not going to retreat. So... In my mind, they should not be able to play a card right now. In my mind. Also, plus one power for each. So that's six. That's three. I mean, that's pretty nice, honestly. So right now we're winning. So here's the thing that's going to go down, right? Where do I think they're going to play at next? Do I think they're going to try to take the middle? I doubt it. They may go for the left side or they may... Well, they're locked in. They can't do anything over here. I could tie them or I could beat them with the abomination and then I can secure this position. Let's just do that. Lock things in. Make them regret. Okay, sweet. I'm going to check in with my coach today and I'll let you know. Okay, perfect. Did we just dominate all three of them? That should give you bonus brownie points. Give me bonus cubes, please. Please. But I'll take those two. Ah, look, now we need to get 10 cubes to do stuff. The thing. Sorry. See, this is a little bit of an issue because... <laughs> there we go. Daily Bugle. Get the scoop on your opponent. How do you get it? Oh, that's a featured location. Get a copy of a card in your opponent's hand. Interesting. All right, we completed a mission. Nice. Give me that season pass. Give me that free gold. Colossus is coming up. All righty, buddy. Buddy, 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 buddy. Oh, good. We're facing death. Perfect. Shuffle five rocks into each deck? Are you kidding me? What does that even mean? See, that's smart playing Ant-Man because all she has to do is build up three more cards over time and then that guy will get a lot more points. If you have only one card here, it has plus five power. Cool, I can't do anything. Uh, I'm definitely not going to play a rock. Mr. Sinister who has a clone that must be nice <laughs> sweet i'm glad oh you gotta be kidding me guys that's the game that's the game i don't even care we're yeah of course they snapped yeah no i'm retreating of course i'm retreating such bs that they brought out a level 12 power and sent a zero power for me Oh, is that an excellent choice? Okay, good. So dumb. So dumb. All right. Okay, you guys, we're going to go ahead and end the stream. Good time. Sorry we were not playing the actual First Descendant beta due to the fact that that is apparently a tomorrow thing that's going to happen. Um, where it looks like it goes live. Let's see. I guess I can go back and do a quick screen share again. Um, it technically goes live Steam beta test at a uh, zero o'clock PDT, which is Pacific Daylight Time, I believe is 
term. We always just do PST, which is Pacific Standard Time. Um, so yeah, that is that. But this was the game we were going to try to play. I have it now installed, so when I do want to play it, I can. But yeah, sorry about that. I thought I would have access to it because I got a beta key. So I thought I could just play the game. Um, but thank you guys so much for stopping by the stream today. If you liked it, you want to leave a thumbs up, that would be appreciated. If you haven't yet, you want to hit the subscribe button down below and the notification bell next to it so you don't get notified when we go live or post more content. That would be awesome as well. And until next time, you guys, maximize deductions and pay less in taxes. Have an amazing day.